All right, so December is a lot of two things, gifts, and calories. So how do you stay healthy during a month of temptation? Well, we have some awesome tips for you. And I'm here with Gracie Kavnar with Recipe for Success and Chef Aaron Stewart with Define Foods. And so they're gonna, you're gonna show us how we can make really delicious recipes and still feel like we're in the holiday spirit, right? That's right. And feel good about ourselves. That's right. Okay, so we are here at Hope Farms, which Gracie, tell everybody kind of a little bit what, about what Hope Farms is. So Hope Farms is our seven an acre urban farm is just outside the loop in Houston so easy for everybody to get to but in the middle of a what's considered a food desert and here is where we grow healthy delicious affordable vegetables for all Houstonians so what we're gonna do to cut into this acorn squash now this is a pretty good size so we're gonna do this right here in front of everybody and I'm gonna start with my knife and we're gonna cut in directly to one side Okay. Wow. Beautiful. So, beautiful. So we have it halved here. And this is the part we just want to get rid of some of the seeds. So you always want to work on your cutting board with the flat side down. And we're just going to cut up some rings. So it'll be half moons and nice and easy. So from here, I'm going to add some grapes as well. Everything gets roasted off together. So we're going to pick some good holiday looking red grapes. How many do you need? I can help. Sure, and they're gonna put them in whole because okay. the, whole, the more whole they are, they burst in the oven during the roasting process and they just look really beautiful. We're gonna also add a little bit of thyme and we're gonna cut up a piece of shallot. So we're gonna pick the thyme if you wanna do that while you're that doing too. Sure. And I love shallots because they're, they're mild enough, they're, they have a beautiful color and flavor. Um, so I'll just do thin little slices of shallot to toss with the rest of the veg. They're so pretty with the red rings. So pretty. That should even be enough. So we'll put it right into the mix. Separate them as you pour them in. How pretty is that already? Beautiful. Okay. And from here, we're gonna add a little bit of that dressing that we had made for the salad. So it's the maple, apple cider vinegar, um, olive oil, a little of Dijon, Dijon mustard. Here we go, okay. And after you toss it, it's gonna go right onto this roasting pan. So you just wanna coat everything with the, right. with the yes, dressing. That's right. Okay. Give it a good coat. Spread it nice and even on your pan. Okay. And then from here, we're just going to top it off with a little bit of fresh pepper and into the oven it will go. Want some salt, salt or no? That'd be great. It's a nice finishing salt, but we can use it at this point as well. Some good salt. There we go. go. So this is an individual serving. Right. So in, into fine. our, that's for one our person. TV oven. TV Hold on. And boom, I love these TV ovens. Look like that. Somehow we magically got more. That's right. <laughs> Look at that. Look how beautiful they it, are, it's though. It's gorgeous. So the same, same ingredients were just put in the oven and came out like this. So we have our plate here of some great mixed autumn greens. And I'm going to add some of our cooked millet down here first. And this is that beneficial grain that we had spoke to a little bit before. And it's a very simple way to cook it. It takes 10 minutes on the stove with some water. I'm going to drizzle a little bit of the dressing at this phase. We always want to flavor and season as we go. So every bite has a great mouthfeel and satisfying bite. And then from here, we're going to start to build the platter with the cooked squash. So I like just to kind of layer, um, build up if you can. How cool. And just keep That's going fun. across. So you can imagine if you have a large um, group that you're cooking for, the larger the platter, just the more beautiful this really does come together. Adding in grapes here and there. The okay. final, final thing is just a little bit of some walnut. Again, I'm a texture person, so you want to go right on top. You can crumble in your hands as you go. We'll give it a good chop. And these have just been roasted off, toasted in the oven. We want to kind of challenge you, everybody that's watching. You have this really neat thing called the Veg Out. That's mm. it. So we have gamified healthy eating, and Erin's done this with her toddler, so oh, you yeah. know anybody <laughs> can do it. And the idea is to, over 30 days, eat 
30 different vegetables. Uh -huh. Now, we actually give you credit for what might is might be botan botanically a, a fruit, like squash is actually a fruit, but we won't argue about that. We'll give you, give <laughs> we'll you credit it. for that. We'll take it, right? And it, it's an online game in the mobile app. You just register and there's an automatic counter that starts in the first of every month and you just click to add, you, starting at the top and it's pictographs and it's recipes. Like we'll have Aaron's recipes on there um, and many others. And it's a way to expand your veggie repertoire to get the kids involved. They love earning the badges and the points and even uh, companies use it for worksite wellness. And we're gonna have a special challenge in January, yeah, right? Along right. with everybody else, get healthy again. For more information on Defined Foods, Recipe for Success, um, Hope Farms, Veg Out, all these recipes, you can go to greatdayhouston.com. And I'm like, I only see two more avocado um, puddings there, and there's like 15 of us here, so mm -hmm. I'm so sorry.